Do you trust your staff to make the right decision, even when it's costly to the company? In this short video, part of our Champions of Responsible Business video series, CEO of Tasty Catering Tom Walter shares the story of when he bet his business on a 20-year-old and her ability to make the right decision at a tough time. So we had this young lady proceed through our company, started at 15 working in the kitchen, and by the age of 19 or 20, she was a crew lead. And she's running an outdoor event. We do about 450 picnics a year, outdoor events. They range from company picnics to 15,000 people from small little individual units. So she was qualified to work at an event that was about 300 people. So this young lady, who had uh, been with us for four or five years, was out on a job site about 60 miles away, and everything that could go wrong had gone wrong. They had pulled the wrong beer. They had pulled an open keg of beer that was flat. Uh, they didn't load enough white wine, and the owner of the company's wife enjoyed her white wine, and there wasn't enough white wine, and the propane tank ran out of gas, and every problem that could imagine that could go wrong happened on, to this young lady. She made a decision that this was unacceptable, did not follow our core values. She asked to speak to the owner of the company through her liaison. She told the owner of the company that this didn't meet our core values. It flunked six of our seven core values and therefore there would be no charge to the uh, company. And the owner said to her, well, that's very nice of you, but I can't believe you have the ability to make that decision. The decision was worth about $4,000. And she asked him if he'd like to speak to her boss, which is my brother, the operations uh, chief operations officer. And he said, yes, I would. So she picked up the phone and called and said, uh, Larry, the owner of this company, I'd like to talk to you about the event that I'm running. And uh, the owner said, she told me it's no charge because she's had too many problems and it's not up to your quality and service standards. And I, I find it difficult to believe that this young lady has the ability to do that. And Larry said, if she said that, that's the way it's going to be. She is in charge, and if she made the decision, we, we back her on that decision. That's part of our culture. And uh, upon her return, Larry met her at the loading dock as the truck was unloading, told her that she was an excellent representative of our company, was very proud of her behavior, and that she did the right thing. Even though the company lost money on the event, lost a lot of money on the event, we kept our moral integrity. We kept our ethical integrity, which was far more important. And uh, she could sleep that night knowing she did the right thing, and we could sleep that night knowing the corporation did the right thing. For the benefit of corporate America and those that own companies, that's one of our most loyal clients now because customer satisfaction is as important as customer loyalty. Customer loyalty is far more important. So we made a mistake. The customer was not satisfied. But what we did afterwards to capture that was critical to, to create the customer loyalty. What it meant to that young lady was she made the decision, and it's a very difficult decision to make, and she was reinforced positively. That girl graduated from an Ivy League school at the top of her class and is now in law school. And to me, that was worth $4,000 to help her get to that point. 